Okay, I'm not really sure where you're getting now. Just take me, just tell me what the damn problem is so I can solve it for you. Because the Lord knows you're going to ask me. Mm, well, I'll tell you the Okay. Ah, yes? Did you speak? Ah, yes, oh, yes, of course. The problem that has spun up. I have completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavion, she bewitches me. Yes, yes, here is the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off. The dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked hailsman. The steer sh they steer ships, you know. Oh, yeah, that's what navigators do. Now, here's the real problem. The waters around Kilalki are deathly dangerous. We need to be absolutely skilled um, hillsmen for our navigator. It is, uh, how you say, a pickle. Oi, Flavio. What now? Why are you talking there, sir? If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not do not tease me, Papatch. Oh, wow. That's a really, really subtle pun right there. <laughs> you can solve our problem and spit it out already. <laughs> well, sir, I've, I've heard talk of a fame. No, a legendary sa sailor living in Rogueport. Yes, I think he's called Admiral Bobbery. A salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he said to have the helmsman. Uh, said to have the helmsman touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his wheel. Thing is, there ain't a soul who's seen him in the seas of late. Bassa boom. Problem solved. Wait, boss. Bassa. Bassa boom. What? What does that mean? Let us scout out for this Bobbery fellow and get him aboard. Uh, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. No complaints. I right, sir. Oh, you guys are assholes. It is decided. You you must find this Bobbery and bring him here. Okay. So we have to go find this Admiral Bobbery guy who's um frick. Where the hell was he again? Um, ah, I think I remember. Um, he should be in East Roadport. If I remember right. You just have to go through some complex stuff through... Actually, I think I remember how to do it. You have to go... No, not there, there. You have to go here! Okay. Is there a star piece here? Would you get out of my way, you stupid bandit? Okay. So we climb up these boxes and we're on the rooftops! And we keep using Yoshi to get through here and... Oh, and there's a shine sprite up here that we can get, so... Like, you know, why not? Why not get it? Should probably upgrade the next Inferno I'm gonna get. Here are stupid legends. You roll up into a paper tube, you drop in this chimney, and there you go. Hey, Bob, what's up? What do you blokes want? What? We just dropped down your chimney? We can't do that? You see Admiral Bombery? Never heard of a gent. Take your search elsewhere. No, away with you. Um, no. You go back in this room, and you get another shine sprite. Okay, now there should be something we can read here, I think. Um, I guess not. I guess it's just for a star. I guess it's just for a shine sprite. Are you sure you're not Admiral Bombery? Because you look like him. You see Admiral Bombery? Never heard of a gent. Take your search elsewhere. Okay. So I guess we have to go tell Flavio about this. That we found Admiral Bombery, but he denies to be himself. If that even makes sense. <laughs> Let me shine first we have anyway. We we can upgrade another partner then. Huh. Wow. Okay, anyway, enough being starstruck, I guess. Are you kidding me? I hate it when my neighbors do that. You found someone who matches Bobbery's description but claims he is not him? Strange. I would ask someone who is knowledgeable about the neighborhood about this. Oh my god, don't freaking tell me. Don't freaking tell me! I have to go talk to somebody? I don't remember that. Oh, wait, now I do. Okay, I know exactly who to talk to. Which is weird, because he's like one of the last people you never really think of asking. He's in the inn, or the bar, or whatever, I don't care what you call it. But he's not Luigi, he's the bartender himself. Would you friggin' stop talking to me? I don't care who you are. Emerald Barber? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know him. You, you know that house just past the wall of the eastern part down? That's his. But I think both of you, and he would be better off if you just let him be. And why is that? Oh my god, you're not gonna tell me anything? Tell me something, you freaking moron! Okay, I know this guy is Bobbery. I'm just gonna go straight up into his face and tell him you're Bobbery. Stop denying it, you freaking bastard. Thank god the door's unlocked now. Admiral Bobbery, I, I haven't the faintest idea about what you're talking about. Now, if you please, drop the axe, Super Stash. We already found out that you're Admiral Bobbery. Oh, what poppycock? Because that's a word. Tell me, what, w what would you want with me if, if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the, do the job? Hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea. Nevermore. 
What? That's just not cool. You want to see me beg or something? Is that it? Oh, shut up. Okay, no one wants to see you beg. You have to come along. Only you can get a safely to kill key. Awfully sorry, dear boy, but when I say no, that what I mean is no, asshole. Okay, now we talk to the bartender. Ugh, what is it now? What's the next move, Chief? The save the this salty dude is going nowhere fast. I can't figure this out. What's his beef with the ocean anyway? Um, it's wet. You know what we gotta do? Go f find someone who knows what this dude's deal is, which is the bartender, and we're gonna go ask. Him. Uh, we're up to an hour now. Look at this mustache. That's so weird. And it moves when he talks. He doesn't have a mouth! You say Bobby won't come see? Well, well, I can't say that. It surprises me. Real question is... <laughs> Sorry, I yawned. Oh, is that it? Now I see you want to my expedition here all key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors would need their ends. Not all Bobby, though. The fact of the matter is, Arrow Bobby's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. Actually, it's pretty depressing, yeah. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell you if you really want me to. Please do. I can take it. No, I hate that Okay, I'll take it. In that case, get ready. Get your tissues ready out there, people. Uh, Barbara tell the world goes something like this. And it zooms in. Barbara was once married. He had a wife of an enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. When does this happy music start? Now, Barbara was renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though she always waited faithfully for Barbara's return. And Barbara, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scar Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for our time. But not all things can last. Not all good things can last. It was particularly the icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew. But it soon turned serious. Barbara at sea at a long, long voyage knew nothing of his broad suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet was succumbed. She was gone. Barbara pushed by himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health, and I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts that he, tor he tormented him, always haunting to sleep. He, was ne he has never I gone out to sea since. Hmm. Gee, what a downer. I guess that's a pretty good reason for hating the ocean. Yet, not just because it's wet! <laughs> So, so tell me, do you still want him to return to sea? Yes, we have no choice. Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, now I'll give you this. What are you doing? <laughs> you got an old letter. The letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on her deathbed. What? Did you hide this from her or something? Isn't this kind of important? On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. Uh, you holding your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should ever succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give him give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. When I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife. I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him and I regret it ever since. You're an asshole, you know that? <laughs> okay. I don't know where the sappy sad music was back there, but whatever. I could have sworn there was music there, but I guess not. What? Oh, by Blurrington's beard. Not you again. No matter how many times, how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. Pardon? A letter, you say? F for me? Yeah. Guess who it's from? What? Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting. How can you tell? Oh, there's the music. Okay. If you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out at sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it. And although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you, you will mourn, and I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea as you were one with me. Do not lose both your lives, loves. Mm. She obviously put a lot of thought in that letter. While she was dying. I gotta give her credit for that. A thousand parts, but might I have a little more alone, if you please? Yeah, okay. I'll just sit out here and play my Game Boy. Damn, I died. <laughs> this game's hard. What? What'd you say? Okay, I'm sorry for injecting humor in this very emotional scene, but... I don't know why I'm doing that. No, then you were looking for a navigator, I believe? Bound for a key hole key? Hmm. If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then that's shut off. I'm all Bobbery. Yes! So now he's gonna follow us to... The ship's in the harbor, huh? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. Sure, why not? Okay, so now we got finally got a navigator, so... Actually, you know what? I'm up to about an hour and ten minutes. That's long enough, if you ask me. WHAT?! What could you possibly want? Petuni? Oh, Yoo-Hoo? 
Hi, Mario. How are you? I'm, uh, good. Not very good. No. Great! Lots of stuff has changed here. Oh, but not the Elder being mad at my brother. That's still the same. God, that Elder is kind of a bitch, if you ask me. I do wish you'd, you'd come back to play sometimes. Are you really busy? Are you going someplace far away? Like a place no one's ever been? Oh, shit. I pressed the B button. Okay, where was I? Are you going to a place far away? Like a place no one's ever been? Wow, that'd be fun. I'm jealous. How did she send an email, anyway? Well, if you ever have time to come back here, you can play with me, okay? You have to promise from Petunia. Hey, look, isn't that the egg I got from her? Whatever. Okay, so I'm going to save my game here, and the next episode, we'll go to Keelhawkey and find the Crystal Star. Probably. See you then.